Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me again. I hope you are doing good in this situation. This video is about the magnetic holder I bought for my LED bar. Extra pair of light whenever I need. Make a temporary setup. Actually, I bought two pairs. One is a magnet with a rubber coating, and another one is a fishing magnet. This one is the magnet with a rubber coat which I am going to use for the LED light bar the rubber cover seems to be sticky outside oops very strong and now I think I made a mistake by putting it together mm, very strong very strong I used a big flat screwdriver as a wedge and I separated them after a long try the top part of the magnet is not magna it's not magnetic you can see here only the bottom is very magnetic let's get a rough size measurement of this magnet the thickness is around 8 mm 0.8 mm I mean less than a centimeter the thickness of the bolt is around 0.7 m and the length of the bolt is around 2.5 centimeter these measurements will help you if you are making your own clamp or drilling a hole size for the bolts the total diameter of the magnet is about 9 centimeter weight of the magnet is around uh, 220 grams I made a two clamp one is square one and another one is an L type one you can use this clamp according to the size of the light or the type of the light you can see it here the small one suits the square one suits the suits better for the small one This is the complete setup with a small square clamp. I fixed this to the small LED light bar by Morimoto. The weight of this light bar is around 1.5 kg to 2 kg. The L type clamp suits better for the big LED bars like this. You can tilt the light according to our position. For this LED bar, I mean especially for this rigid LED bar, I bought a, a clamp, a full clamp, there is a grooves in center on it, so I can place the magnet uh, anywhere between them. I hope this explains well about that clamp. For instance, if you have a bump like grease line on the bonnet, you can move the magnet according to it. Attach the magnet to the clamp with first with a plain washer and a spring washer and the nut. The spring washer is to give an extra tension between the screw and the magnet or the clamp so that the uh, nut won't get loose often. A check nut for an extra safety. Doing the same procedure for the other side of the magnet. A plain washer, a spring washer, and a nut, and an extra safety nut. Firmly fixed, the magnet is ready for the test, I think now. test it inside before fixing on the car now it's hanging on my refrigerator it holds very firmly you can see that not even a single slide the 
the rubber gives an extra grip the light is about 4.5 kilos I think this magnet can hold, can hold up to 7 or 8 kilos okay let's check it on the car now I made a permanent wiring for this light and kept the connector behind the front grill so whenever I need an extra light or like to use this light I just put the light on the hood pop up the bayonet bring the connector out and connect it with the light just in a minute we can make the setup I'm going to lift the bonnet up right now let's check whether it can hold the light yeah it's holding the light very strongly there is no not even a slight movement it holds strong you can see it clearly now and other advantages with this magnet and the light is like you can use it on uh, emergency situations or as an extra light and you can put the light according to your driving style or uh, according to the condition of the road for example in the front of the car or in the middle of the bonnet or on the roof of the car and place the light bar on the bonnet or anywhere on the car it should not be placed in a flat manner it should be placed in a tilted angle like this same way it should be as like the same way it should be removed always keep the bottom surface of the magnet clean as it may attract some iron or any other iron particles and it may scratch the paints on frequent use or even in a single use when placing the light never keep your fingers on the magnet it may crush the finger or may cause severe injuries so you should be very careful on that let's take it for a ride and see how it performs in smooth roads there is no vibration on the light in patchy and rough roads uh, there is vibration in the light the light bar is still in intact there is not in a single moment like about one centimeter or two centimeter throughout my entire this test drive nearly about 100 and 150 kilometers guys if you have any LED bar with a fixer clamp setup and you and kindly share your experience like how it uh, performs in a rough and patchy road and by the way this is my first video with my voice uh, kindly share your experience uh, put your suggestions whether I can carry forward in my next video or just put the captions as my previous videos. Thank you for watching guys. Be safe. Drive safe. In peace.